What's going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. Deadpool 3 is officially wrapped. It is done shooting, you guys. Now it goes into the long haul of post-production to meet that release date of July 26th this year. Ryan Reynolds, Sean Levy, Hugh Jackman all took to the social media to confirm that Deadpool 3 has wrapped filming. Be aware, there are so many set photos with spoilers in there. I know there was massive ones like two days ago that I don't want to talk about or I don't want to share because I want to be courtesy, you know, I want to have that common courtesy for my subscribers and my viewers, you know what I mean? Especially if you guys don't want anything spoiled for you. But boy, I saw them and it got me that much more hype for Deadpool 3. I cannot wait, you guys. It's rumored that we're going to get the first trailer for Deadpool 3 next month during the Super Bowl. So you guys, please stay tuned be ready for that because that shit is going to destroy, break the internet. I guarantee you guys it is going to do some endgame Spider-Man No Way Home type numbers and I cannot wait. I'm so excited for Deadpool 3, you guys. But moving on to the next story, Wilson Bethel's Bullseye from Daredevil Season 3 will be returning for Daredevil Born Again for three episodes. I'm like, holy crap, they are literally just grabbing everybody from that Marvel Netflix series. They really are. Like, Daredevil Born Again is stacked. Bring in Foggy and Karen back. You have Kingpin as the mayor. You have Matt Murdoff. You have Darede Daredevil. Now you have Bullseye. You have John Bernthal's Punisher. Who else is going to be making an appearance? And just how bad was that original script for Daredevil Born Again? Like, honestly, it must have been terrible for them to be like, look, we're going to canonize everything that Marvel Netflix did, and we're bringing everybody over. Because honestly, why not? Daredevil Season 3 was absolutely phenomenal. And he, yo, Bullseye and Daredevil, they went hand-to-hand -hand in Season 3. It was so entertaining seeing Daredevil get his ass whipped. It was so good. I mean, Daredevil always gets his ass whipped, right? It, but it was so good. I cannot wait to see his return. Ultimately, I want to know if that last season was, you know, actually canon. Because did he get his back broken by kingpin that was huge and will he be in the full suit as actual bullseye that is going to be interesting and i hope we get it you guys yo daredevil born again is really it's 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 preparing itself to be one of the greatest mcu shows of all time and i have a great feeling i have high hopes for it you guys i cannot wait i just pre-ordered the devil's reign the comic book run where kingpin is mayor it's coming tomorrow i cannot wait to read it you guys i'm super excited about that i just want more daredevil me and my wife are actually doing our rewatch right now of daredevil season one we're just so into it you know what i mean it's just so good it is so freaking good you guys it's, like i said it's the best marvel show of all time but continuing on you guys sony universal and warner brothers are all currently bidding war to produce ryan krugler's vampire movie starring michael b jordan and they look to start shooting this summer with a budget of around 90 million dollars i'm excited about this movie michael b jordan Ryan Coogler, absolutely. Fruitvale Station, Creed, Black Panther. These two are golden together. And then you throw in a vampire movie? I love me some vampires. The Lost Boys is my favorite vampire film of all time. It is so, so good. I can, I can rewatch that movie every single day. And then you throw in Bram Stoker's Dracula. The, oh, dude. I love me some vampires, you guys. So I'm really excited. It's funny. I tweeted this. I was like, yo, real talk. Blade has some competition if Ryan Coogler is doing a vampire movie with Michael B. Jordan. How funny is that? I'm like, I'm really hoping the script for Blade is top tier on some Logan type shit. Because the writer of Logan is writing this Blade film. And we all know the struggles that this Blade film has had over the last, I don't know, four years since Mahersha Ali was casted as Blade. I still have my, my reservations for Blade. I do. I'm hoping that the R rating is true. I'm hoping that the budget of $100 million is true too. Because having a massive budget, a budget doesn't necessarily mean your film is going to do wonderful. I mean, look at the Marvels. Look at Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumanium. When you're forced to have a smaller budget, like, you know, this vampire movie, $90 million, you got to get artistically creative as the writer, as the director, and at all facets of filmmaking. 
And I think it only elevates your film. I honestly, honestly believe that, you guys. But I'm excited to see this vampire movie with Michael B. Jordan, directed by Ryan Coogler. You guys, I can't stress it enough. I'm really pumped about that. And then moving on, you guys, John Boyega will star in a young Eli. He will star in as a young Eli. I don't know if you guys remember that film, The Book of Eli with Denzel Washington. This is going to be a series set 30 years before the film, you guys. Ooh, that has a lot of potential. I love me some John Boyega, and I love me some Denzel Washington. And you have some fans out there who are like, why not just hire, you know, uh, uh, I forgot his name, David Washington, Denzel Washington's son to play him. Because yeah, maybe he doesn't want to play his dad. And, you know, why not? John Boyega is a talent. He is extremely talented. Uh, they Clone Tyrone is such a great movie. One of my favorite movies last year. So to do a series based off the Book of Eli, which I think is an extremely underrated film, I really enjoyed that movie. And to do a whole, you know, series of a prequel, I think you have something golden. I think you got something and you need to utilize it. So that's really exciting to hear. I can't wait for more details about this prequel, you guys. That's going to be fun. And then at the end of the video, you guys, Jurassic World. We are getting a brand new Jurassic World film. I don't know if we're going to get a whole new trilogy, but... Universal is pumping out a new film. Because why not? This franchise makes money. All three Jurassic all, all three Jurassic World films made over a billion dollars. Jurassic World 1, 1.6, Jurassic World 2, 1.3, and Jurassic World 3, 1. billion dollars. They make money. People love some Jurassic Park. I know I do. I'm being honest with you. I wasn't the biggest fan of the last two. I think they were just poorly written. Overly long and just boring. Jurassic World, when that came out, that was fun. Because it was like reinventing something again. Because I was such a massive fan of the original Jurassic Park. And Jurassic World. And Jurassic Park 3 was cool. Jurassic Jurassic Park 2, we, we can all say, you know, it wasn't the greatest. But, you know, this has a hardcore fandom. And it makes billions at the box office. So best believe Universal's like, sure, why not? Let's pump out another one. It's going to make us some money. Uh, but it's going to be an all-new storyline. Jurassic Park writer David Copey returning to pen the script. No Chris Pratt, I feel like, is going to hurt the box office. You're going to have to cast another familiar face that the fans love. Look, Chris Pratt is extremely on fire. Between his Guardians of the Galaxy films, his Avengers movies, you know, all three Jurassic World movies making a billion dollars. He has six movies making a billion dollars. Six movies, you guys. Six, hold on, is that right? Infinity War, Endgame, all three Jurassic, and then Super Mario Brothers. He's hot right now. He's hot. Uh, and I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to replace his character. Because like I said, Owen was a beloved character within this re relaunched franchise of that being Jurassic World. But, you know, fingers crossed. I hope they have, you know, creative ideas. Maybe they bring on Steven Spielberg for something. That would be interesting. Maybe he comes back and he directs a film. That would be cool, but I highly doubt that. I think Steven Spielberg has done with that particular franchise. But I'm excited, you guys. There's a whole bunch of great news to talk about and discuss. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about all this news we talked about in today's video? And how are you guys doing personally? I hope you guys are honestly taking care of yourself physically and mentally. Always take time out of your day to really ask yourself how you're doing because you guys are extremely important to others in your lives. I mean that. Take care of you guys. Please, please do. And of course, you guys, thank you for taking time out of your day for watching C-Roll Productions. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.